Welcome to the Red Panda Party post-con review where we're gonna be covering our experience at MAGFest 2018. Super MAG! Super MAG, and for this post-con review, we kinda like go over the experience that we've done, we look at what we would grade this convention while focusing on what their like nightlife aspect was, what the party aspect was, um, what the social aspect was. My name is Pedrock and with me is... Nelly the Afrobot. And for MAGFest 2018, the, I don't know, MAGFest did pretty close to amazing. Like everything they did last year and in previous years, they just went bigger and better made such great use of the Gaylord National Hotel. Like the um, big conference room obviously was filled out with like the console room area, the art vendors, the indie room and the arcade. And it was pretty well decked out. Uh, for the arcade room area, you know, this year they didn't have Tokyo Attack to help with cabs. And their presence was missed because Tokyo Attack always brings like the latest stuff and always has something new and special. Mm -hmm. But, their presence wasn't missed because there was nothing lacking. Like, no. I know there was a little bit of concern that there would be empty space. There wasn't. No, there was no. a weird use of layout, like the fighting game candy cab area. That was a little awkward. The, and where they put the rhythm games, they kind of put the rhythm games facing into each other. So the lines were kind of colliding. It was hard to walk through it. So layout wise, I think definitely can improve. But content wise, uh, amount of cabs, variety, that was really nice. Um, similar in the tabletop area. The tabletop areas were packed all the time. People were running D&D &D campaigns. All weekend. Dr yeah. It was like all weekend. I don't know if they, they, they like slept. I guess they tried to roll to sleep and kept failing or something. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, it, it was just so amazing. And in particular, like the indie game area, man. Tell me indie about game. the indie game area. So this has always, always been a highlight. The past couple of years, indie games, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Um, I love interacting with the developers, um, the music artists, uh, the, the visual artists. No, you get one. to chat with them about their like the game they're building. You and get you, to give them see critique. That, you see that passion I with know, them, yeah, and it's it's, it's really great. And unfortunately, the first night that I, I went down there, it was like three in the morning. So <laughs> the, everything, well, actually for, for the most part, everything was shut down. But you can still wander through mm -hmm. the booth. So I went at my own pace, checked it out, um, and everything was just stepped up. They actually mm -hmm. had like a lot of booths. Um, the indie artists, you know, even sometimes just let their games run there. They had little pamphlets that you can take out. They had massive displays. They made the space their own. Like it was like living rooms, like designed for yeah. that game. Like you lounged and enjoyed the game. Use of everything, use of the concert hall. The use of the concert hall were amazing. Like mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about like the main stages. So they switched it up last year. Um, or even previous years, they used to have it where it was almost like dueling stages. Mm -hmm. So one large stage and the other large stage. And they kind of set one up while the other one was still playing. Yeah. And, and there's around. a lot of like kind of back and forth. You'll get people mixed in between the two stages. And um, it was still decent. But this year they went all out. Just one big, huge stage. It was like straight up like concert venue level, yeah. level stuff. Big productions. <laughs> And um, gotta take a look at like some of the streams from it, mm -hmm. but it's like huge screens. Uh, you got light shows. It's it's just immense, immense. And you can see a little bit of it yeah. from the outside. No, you could hear it from and the hear outside. it too. <laughs> Oof, that was ridiculous. So that was that was very good. They had artists just cycling through. Friday and Saturday was like their big nights, and they had. They, they brought it. It's just everything was Dude, out there. All the time. Bands. Even the outside, like the, the bar that's right under the gazebo. Mm -hmm. They even had like a string quartet. I, I don't know which group was playing there, but they were doing amazing. They used every part of the Gaylord. It was great. I really loved it. MAGFest, big step up convention wise. Unfortunately, we didn't do as much. Uh, <laughs> we didn't do as much of the convention. It, like I would take breaks to walk around uh, MAGFest, but a lot of we actually like stuck to our guns on this one. We did a lot of the checking out the nightlife, the parties, mm -hmm. and the like what the after hour stuff is like. So um, that kind of shifts us into the nightlife started early. Early. <laughs> Very early, like mid afternoon early, because mm -hmm. Poe's Lounge is a lounge on top of the Gaylord. 
And usually MAGFest doesn't really use that mm -hmm. spot, no. but this year they like opened it up to a certain group that was just doing room parties in the past. Yeah. I think last year they were in the underground uh, yeah, they, jam pod area. Yeah, they had sweet parties, but <clears> also <throat> the underground was, uh, they had a showcase there last mm -hmm. year. So and then they, they graduated. Got to pose up to heaven <laughs> <laughs> they went from the bottom depths to the, to the highest that's, level that's what it was and it was great to go up there because um it's a two level lounge um you could it's easy to get into easy to get out it's a bar and they could just go as hard as they want they were doing sets pretty quickly like pretty oh, yeah. back to back like it was hard to keep up after a while like mm -hmm. i got tired even <laughs> yeah like early afternoon um, depending on which day you went, but they normally had just artists doing mm -hmm. their own sets, like live music um, was a kind of a big thing. So it's like, you know, happy yeah. hour kind of time. So ease into it and then boom, eight o'clock, yeah. switch it off. They went straight to the DJ sets back to back. And that that's how, and that's, that's just how it was. That's just a <laughs> fraction of the nightlife because that's competing with the main concerts. Because mm -hmm. the main concerts were like DJ battles as well yes. or like back-to-back -back performances. That's competing with room parties. Yeah. Like that's going competing with a lot of different style of room parties. And I guess, um, so yeah, nightlife definitely on, on point, so much to do and... Kind of had to pick and choose. You, like you did, those. you were competing for space. Like we, I bounced between Pose Lounge to Room Parties. And Room Parties at MAGFest this year were pretty wide variety. I was actually kind of glad to see because, I don't know, it was just like a little bit of like every level of what you want. Some Room Parties were, had what I would consider the good stuff. It's like lights off, they had specialty lights, they had video DJ, so like a projector or some sort of like anime something. And they had somebody performing, somebody with a, D, with a playlist ready. Uh, DJing and they had speakers, but they were just blasting it like they were just putting it as loud Like some of them was nice because people were like dancing to it But in others like people just wanted to talk like there was nobody on like what would be the dance floor It was just people in like side rooms or to the corners because that's the only place they could talk so that was just a little bit I feel Weird I feel the other room parties were like the exact opposite where it was like no music lights on Everybody's mostly like chatting or drinking or getting loud but those, like, I don't know. It's just like, the no paying attention to the aesthetics. No paying attention to what it smelled like in there. Ooh. No paying attention to like ventilation or how chill it was. Like, it was just, come on, come on, come on. Let's just, just get go energy out. going, yeah, I guess. I mean, there's like, to some degree, you have to kind of plan for some of this. And, and yeah, with MAGFest, I mean, I, some people don't really, go the extra mile or finesse it. Um, or finesse it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's 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 cool to have like people over and stuff, but it's like, yeah, the, the, there wasn't even much... we learned ourselves, you yeah. know, we have, we to, we have to go through year, the, we have to go through the paces yeah. to go, OK, you know, turn the AC on like the lowest it can. <laughs> so it stops, you know, kind of smelling a little yeah, bit. Get some there. fans, box fans. Mm -hmm. The uh, the thing was that for s all these parties were very open. Like people were just like, hey, you know, if you want to come in, roll through. Yeah, like, do you know somebody in here? Or it was very word of mouth sometimes. Sometimes it was just blasting it out in freaking like social media. <laughs> but I don't know. Like we tried to. I really enjoyed the way we did it. Like we had our room, our suite room set up. Mm -hmm. We had balcony, so we had the doors open to ventilate it. We had fans going. We invited people, and we let a lot of people in. But we also didn't pack people in there. We played a little bit of like doorman bouncer just to make sure that people weren't crammed and you know then we, we didn't want to get we didn't want to get shut down yeah. too so it was like kind of have to regulate that a little bit and i guess where the room parties uh failed a little bit is that they got a little two buck and there was issues with people throwing stuff off the balcony and i think it was like a bottle thrown and that ended up getting everybody shut down um and i don't know i haven't heard any news since then about what happened with that Not or exactly where it came no. from but so that ended up being pretty rough so a little bit of a rough and like really sharp ending to the party aspect and i think that's where it got a little bit too much like it doesn't matter who did it like we should be watching out for that and be a little bit more careful mm -hmm. because that definitely goes from us being having fun and being responsible to just you know destruction and, and like that gets us nowhere yeah, yeah. so i guess on that aspect room parties were bad but on the other aspect, you had a variety. You just had to pick your flavor. True, true. Something we haven't actually talked about that uh, does affect the social aspect is social media. 
Like yeah. I, in this year, use of the there's a Mag, uh, a Facebook group for Magfest 21 plus year old members, and that was a very popping group this year. Like people were posting all the time. I don't think that's happened in previous years. Not on this level. No, I don't. No, think I so. mean there was always a few like random groups, but they were never. Yeah. Um, gathered mm -hmm. you know it was always well there was like... never like a center for making these posts mm -hmm. right because the the best you had was maybe going on twitter or instagram posting the picture if, if they, people didn't follow you or if people didn't have your dm or couldn't message you directly the information just didn't disperse as easily but i think having that central hub was really important yeah so it was what a couple couple thousand members mm -hmm. and you know they were down to party or they gather or meet thing. up and that was really cool. I mean, yeah. even though there was a lot of like junk posting going on, <laughs> um, there was a lot of genuine people that were like, you know what, let's have a good time. You, know, you post pictures of like what people are doing or if people wanted to gather. Yeah, no, it, was, it was a nice, nice little, I think, forum looking. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely telegraphing that we're probably going to be giving these high marks. So let's move to that, Nelson. Hmm. This year's MAGFest, what do you give MAGFest? Damn, I'm rating already. I know. Um, I'm this was a hard one. This I had was to a think. hard I had, one. I had to man. think, and <laughs> even now I'm not too happy with my rating. Yeah. Like, it's, I think it's a cop out rating. Really? Yeah. You want me to do my rating? Do I want to see your rating? Right. So this year's Magfest, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give Magfest a Mag Me out of Magfest because it was just very personal. I did whatever I wanted. Um, we got there like pretty early. We usually do get there day zero and we just set up our room and that took a little bit of work, but then we just played arcade machine all night long, did karaoke. Um, we then got very little sleep, got back up, set up our suite room. When we set up our suite room, like I hadn't had a chance to see anything about Magfest and it was just opening up. So I did a lap, I did a lap or two, but I was dead tired by the time we started our room party. <laughs> And we did. We went a little hardish on, you know, Thursday night because we were just so excited to have finally have a balcony suite. Mm -hmm. And you know, we were responsible. We cut it off, and we and I just kept hanging out all night, like walking around, hanging out in our room, doing stuff. Before I knew it, it was the next day, and I was still dead tired. I had to take a nap that day. Like usually, I don't take naps, but I took a nap. Have mag rest. Yeah, and I felt like I could have probably stayed in bed the rest of Magfest, and I would have been happy with that. That's how like in like I was doing me <laughs> this Magfest. And same thing happened every night after that. It was all the same. I was just doing my own stuff, even when I was doing things that would be boring. Like I was just on my phone, checking social media, hanging out in my room. Like I would go hang out by myself in the room, and just chill out. And I think it's because when I went to do other things like parties or our party or walk around, it was very intense. Everything about it was very enjoyable. And I think I just needed, like during my highs, enjoy that. During my lows, enjoy that. And who cares what other people were doing? They can enjoy MAGFest however they wanted sure. because that's what I was doing. <laughs> so very personal rating this year. Um, and I don't know. I have no other way of like putting it. So, well, what about you? Give me, give me your hot take. So my on hot Magfest take this on year. Magfest this year. It was trash. It was garbo. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it, it was a, it was a shining golden karaoke microphone. Ooh. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Because we had karaoke in the room. Because yeah. one, we had karaoke, but no, <laughs> the, I did. <laughs> Oh he my goodness, you, you were sleeping. You were sleeping. No, I'll give you the mic. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Sung once. Okay. he sung once. He sung during last call. But but no, no, that, that last night, um, just singing like anime intros yeah. with a bunch of people that I barely even knew. <laughs> and that that was kind of the, the element. It was like karaoke. Who's done karaoke? Pretty much everybody. But it forces you to be out of your element. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the songs, you read it, trying to sing it. Um, but then you hear like the song that you like. Mm -hmm. And you kill and that And then song. you grab that mic and then you <laughs> fucking slay that song. Pardon my French. But <laughs> Slay's French. Um, <laughs> but that, that's kind of how it was. It's like, if there was an event I really wanted to go to, mm -hmm. I bolted to it. There. If there was something that was out of my element, mm, you know, I, I gave it a try. And that, that's how it was during my first yeah. I, I was a little bit more open to it, but I also 
um, kept the stuff that I really wanted to do in check and yeah. it made was, sure to go to it. It was satisfying. Very like, much so. We kind of, I kind of went into like when we were going to do this review, I kept thinking we, were, we weren't going to have enough because like we didn't do that much. Mm -hmm. But man, after we like talked about it and everything, there was just so much to do that the little slice we did was massive. Yeah. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So very high marks that, for this year's MAGFest. Oh, I, I was missing it on Sunday. Yeah, I was like, man, MAGFest is done. <laughs> we got to wait a whole nother year. <laughs> Even though the MAGFest has MAGWest. Yeah. They uh, have like you, uh, sort it has of something to tie you along. Um, Mag Labs, but I mean, there's, there's just, it doesn't compare to, I mean, Super <laughs> MAGFest. <laughs> It's just, everything builds up to that. Yeah, very and, much um, so. Look very forward to it. I'm, uh, it's gonna be a yay. For next year. Yeah, For next year, we definitely, definitely. gotta go next year. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. It's good time. So, I'm, I'm like I'm like blanking out, because it's like <laughs> trying to remember like it's stuff that much. happened. It it's, a it's a lot of stuff that happened. Right. And I'm gonna like go through my phone and go through some like <laughs> pictures and video that yeah, we, we gotta still start have. Uploading. And yeah, you'll see what we did, and yeah, just make sure to follow, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, yeah, hit us up on there. Like we posted pictures on there. We used that to find out who wanted to come to our parties, and that's how we used like ways of reaching out to people through like a, a message. Um, and we got a pretty good. A lot of people enjoyed, and we love that people enjoyed, you know, like taking taking pictures of our like balcony and our our arcade machine and posting that. That was really exciting for us to see. So thank you very much for doing that. And keep it up. Like, let us know how like your Magfest was. Um, tell us about like some of the special things you did because we're always looking to add stuff. Like, I think what makes Magfest fun is seeing what other people were doing and then starting to copy that, copy mm -hmm. that and adopt that. So thanks for watching uh, the MAGFest post-con review. Uh, and you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help us out and do comment please because we do want fucking tips on what to do next year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, he was falling out. He's a good boy. He's, He's a, a good very boy. good boy.